Hello everyone, this is Comics Villain, and welcome to another episode of Indie Spotlight. Today we'll be discussing Seven Legions, it is currently funding. An orphan becomes a samurai who takes on the greatest threat the Seven Legions have ever faced. By Michael Beacon. It so far has made $1,235 by 29 backers, 41% of its $3,000 fixed goal, 12 days left in the campaign. So, of the perks, we have the $50 print tier. This is, you get the autographed book, uh, all the art prints we fund, and your name on the page, or on the thank you page. Um, so, it looks like they're going to, it's going to take a little time for this one. Uh, it's going to be July 2020. Uh, so, six so far have been claimed. Physical copy, still July 2020, 20 been claimed. Uh, Seven Legions book. So you get the issue one, 20 page, issue two, 30 page, and all issues funded through stretch goals, all signed. And get your name on the thank you page. Has a very unique look to it. Uh, international and double pack. So for the international backers or just people who want two copies, free shipping and what? Wait a second. Free shipping. That's a first. I never, I never hear free shipping with international uh, perks. That's so fascinating. I wonder. Uh, free shipping and comes with two copies of all books we fund. So far, so far, no one's claimed it, but uh, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can change that. That is super interesting. And whoo, look at this. All right, let's see. Receive a copy of each issue of seven legions that we fund and five copies of each get sent to the troops. You also get a copy of each print that we fund. So far, zero have claimed that one. Uh, Enemy of the legions. Oh, I like this one. Get drawn in the comics as an enemy of the seven legions and receive all physical tiers. One out of five claimed. I want to be a. I want to be an enemy of someone. Um, <laughs> I probably am. I don't know. <laughs> I try not to be. Retailer bundle, hundred dollars. Receive five copies of each book we fund, a copy of each print, and a piece of original concept art drawn by Michael. Think of this as owning the original sketch of Green Goblin or a Hydra soldier, never uploaded elsewhere. All books signed, your name goes on the thank you page, and the concept art is on 11 by 17 Bristol, and will be authenticated. Next one, ooh, $150, Soldier of the Seven Legions. Very cool. All right, be a, be a soldier in the Seven Legions and get all physical tiers. Uh... Hmm. So one person has already got uh, got this. All right, this is the last one. This is Legend. Appear as a character of significance in the issue with the opportunity to appear in future issues. That's a good one. Uh, backers of this tier will also receive all lower physical tiers. So I've been racking my brain over, you know, the value, like, like how much somebody should, you know, offer this kind of tier four. Uh, it's hard to say, you know, because it really depends. It depends on a lot of factors. Um, you know, obviously how famous the person making it, um, ha you know, can weigh on this. Because uh, like, let, let's just, let's just say, you know, 10 years ago, out, out of nowhere, out of the blue, Stan Lee, he wants to do, uh, you know, a, uh, a comic book through Indiegogo. You know, not tied to Marvel or anything else. And then he says, you know, uh, you know, for one thousand dollars, for two thousand dollars, become a character, a reoccurring character, uh, become a comedic relief, become a villain, become a hero, become this, become that. You know, there'd be people that would want to do that. You know, that's just how it is because it's got Stan Lee, you know, <laughs> attached to it, uh, or it would have. Um, nowadays, it's. It's hard to say if, uh, if you're not, if you're, if you're well known, then it, it makes it a little easier. If the story on the other hand, if the story is like really good, 
you know, looks really good or, you know, other issues have already come out. I can kind of see people wanting to actually be a part of it because maybe, hey, whoa, well, I, I have um, ties to this story now because or emotional ties because I've been reading it. I want to see where the characters go. And it'll be great to see myself in this. I love this story. So there's there's different ways to um, to incorporate this into your your campaign. It just really depends, though. I've seen as low as $100 for reoccurring characters. I've reported on that. Reported, I should say. I've done videos on that. Um, and it, it, just, it just depends, you know, what, what people view as, um, you know, worthwhile. So I do hope that somebody actually does pick up on that one, the Legend of Gwen, because it's still available. There's only one out there that you can actually get in, uh, get in on. So definitely pick that one up. All right, so... We're going to get into the overview, and uh, looks like there's, it's not too long, you know, got a lot of artwork, so that's that's the, um, the important aspect of this. <clears throat> Sorry, let me get ready. <laughs> In a galaxy at risk, a young samurai will prove their greatest hope. The angel, Azrakal, Azrakal. Uh, served the seven legions for 2,000 years and encountered many threats and served with valor until he discovered a plot by three of the seven legions' greatest enemies to destroy them from within and overrun the allied empires they protect. However, before Azrakal uh, could warn the people of this new threat, he vanished, leaving only his memories behind in the dreams of Hiko. Well, that's interesting. Uh, an orphan turned samurai. Hiko lives... Hmm. Hiko lives in, in a time of chaotic civil war in Japan that would pit his clan against their former allies, leaving Hiko to choose between uh, fighting the war that threatens the family that took him in or facing off the galactic threat he is destined to end uh, when he barely knows his own world. Issue 1 is 20 pages. Issue 2 is... Uh, and all the following issues are 30 pages. Download the current version. Okay, so if you guys want to check it out here, uh, it's re-lettered as well. You can. So you can see if this is something you really want to get into. Um, I will say it has a very unique vibe to it. Uh, both unique and familiar, I should say. I do like the coloring. And the characters look interesting. With this campaign, we are funding the art for issue two and the print runs of issue one and issue two. This is the series, this is a series 13 years in the making, a carefully woven story in a vast universe. Uh, and I aim to create a story where not one issue goes by without action, carefully placed humor and heart. It's a story about belonging and the value of the individual. I've planned for the potential of funding a total of five issues through stretch goals. But this story is just the beginning. And this universe has the potential to go on to many stories throughout a thriving galaxy with an exciting history. That's kind of funny. That's that's sort of what I want to... That's sort of how I want to describe mine. But mine, mine's going to have different rules. Um, I'll put it that way. Mine's not going to be exactly one universe. <laughs> It's going to be so random when you guys hear this. All right, let's get into this. Let's get back into this. Uh, update. All backers will be receiving a bookmark and a four-pack of Seven Legions trading cards. Thank you. Uh, print tier backers uh, swell. So there's a little typo there. Will receive three prints. First five pages of, of issue one. So we get a little bit of the art here. While I do find some of that uh, interesting... Definitely has a good imagination for this. Um, I, I kind of like the some of the concepts here and some of the art. Um, hmm. We're all putting in our best work to make this book a great value, and the value will be better the more we fund. All backers will receive each uh, book we fund and all swag items. Uh, backers of the print tier and above will receive all prints we fund up to six. And as new books are funded, more opportunities to appear in the book will be added. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. 
So we get a little more with this, a little more art. I kind of want a hammer that uh, has some kind of mechanical option to it. To uh, so let's say let's say the the or I shouldn't say hammer, I should say axe, an axe where you let's just say you strike an enemy's armor. It, it'll stay there for a second, you know, like you're tr you tried to hit it, but it didn't go through. And then there's some kind of mechanical um, uh, feature on the backside that, you know, will force it to, to uh, you know, it'll give it like a big boost of kinetic energy if you press a certain button and then it just, boom, smashes through the armor <laughs> while you're still there. I'd like to see something like that. I can't think of anything that does that. Each issue is split into two parts. Sorry, I, I, I think the reason I, I said that I was just seeing this, and it kind of looked mechanical. Almost. Just just the way the back end looks. It's it's very interesting. I don't know if it really is or not, but... Yeah. Uh, the memories of Azrakul, each telling a self-contained story drawn by Henry uh, Ponciano in a Western comic style. The continuing journey of Hiko as he becomes the hero the galaxy needs. Drawn by Pablo Romero in an old school uh, manga style. Both halves are colored by me, Michael Beacon. You know, I've, I've considered that. I've considered doing a uh, manga style. I just don't know if I want to do it or not. I've <laughs> been really thinking about that. You know, to go like uh, right to left and... Uh, you know, just the entire style, I, I've considered it. But uh, a part of me just wants to do a normal comic. And maybe, maybe as um, uh, as a, say, a perk or part of, uh, you know, part of a stretch goal, maybe in court, include like a, uh, um, a manga short story, uh, which to which I actually have quite a few short stories uh, I can I can incorporate. Okay, issue one featured the art of Moxus Zabers and Federico uh, Guyen, as uh, well as Henry Ponciano. Ponciano. Is that Italian? I don't know. Uh, this story has been carefully built over years with every thread connected in ways that will amaze readers as they discover the secrets. It's a universe with the potential to be expanded into other stories. To learn more about the lore of this, the vast universe, go to sevenlegions.com. So, ah, so if you guys are interested, check that out. We have a link here on the uh, on the campaign. Uh, the races of the seven legions of uh, uh, universe. So that you have humans uh, like you and me and on Earth. Humans have uh, no knowledge of other races outside of what we remember through myth and legend. The other races are cloaked by mysterious force from human eyes. Beyond Earth, some humans live among the other empires of the Alliance and beyond. So you have the angels, uh, you have the Eldrian elves. Oh, okay, okay. Darvosi or dwarves. Oh, I like I like that. So Eldrian, Darvosi, and uh, the Undyne on oh, aquatic race. Okay. The fair are tall and lanky with uh, chitinous wings. I don't know if I said that right. Shit, chitinous. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. And pointed ears. Uh, same world as the Undyne, but live primarily on islands. Uh, the Cobran or Goblins. I'm curious if this is something that's established in other stories, like the names of these, like Cobran and the Undyne, Darvosi. I'm very curious. Maybe it's an old world, uh, maybe it's like way, the way they used to be described or uh, called. I don't know. So Goblins, they have Orcs. Okay. Demons. Uh, the Seven Legions need you. We we can fund for three thousand, which will provide the funds needed to uh, finish the art for issue two, print issue one and two, print copies of Pablo Romero's pinup print, uh, provide heavy duty mailers, all right, provide bags and boards, perfect, and pay for shipping. We can fund with anywhere from twenty seven to sixty four backers. Oh. 
Interesting. We're printing the books on newsprint through Alternus Print. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Very happy to hear that. Uh, Alternus uh, Print Partnership Program. But if we reach our goal, if we reach our final goal of twenty-seven thousand, we'll combine all funded raises into a trade paperback with a high-quality cover. Hmm. The final goal is twenty-seven thousand uh, dollars. We're Recruiting the help of talented artists to provide additional prints, each 11 by 17, and the more stretch goals we hit, the more prints you get. Very nice. <clears throat> We're offering opportunities to be drawn into the book. You can appear as a soldier of the Seven Legions, an enemy of the Seven Legions, or a character of significance to the issue with a chance to return at least in mention in later issues. All backers will have their name mentioned in the thank you page and their comics signed. In the event that we do not reach our final $27,000 goal, anything left over after providing backers, all they um, all they backed will be divided between the team and continuing the series regardless of how this campaign goes. Victory or defeat. That's that's wonderful. Uh, I won't stop working to continue the series to end uh, to the end. Hell or high water. You will see the story concluded. Uh, I think that uh, your readers will appreciate that. In the event that we surpass the 27K, we'll do the same, uh, but with more in the tank. We can do that with 316 to 574 backers, and I have faith in my team to get us there. Risks. This is my first campaign. I'm aware, uh, I'm aware that there are hurdles. Sometimes there are issues that lead to artists having to leave a project. I have experienced that. If that happens, I'll inform the backers and we'll continue forward. Over the last two years, I have found an amazing community of comic creators all working on our own projects. We're all working together to create our dream projects, and I have a great group to turn to for help. Given the most likely printing option, there's a chance we may be delaying, uh, delayed in printing if we do not have the issues completed before the deadline. If the delay is too great, I will work to find another option. As long as it's... Uh, I think as long as people you know, mention, you know, hey, there's going to be a delay, this is what's going on, and keep everyone up to date, then it, it helps out quite a bit. Other ways you can help, always spread the word. Uh, you can reach out to him on Twitter, there's his tag right there, and his email, as well as uh, Facebook. Stretch goals, uh, $3,000 goal, 8000 issue 3, uh, 10000 Seven Legions logo button, 12000 Narwhal print, Hmm. 14,000 issue 4, 17,000 dog tags, 19,500 Rob Willis print, 22,000 uh, issue 5, $23,000, 7 Legions bomber patch, 24,000 print 6, 26,000 books become a trade paperback. Uh, that's This is all very different from what I'm used to on campaigns. Not to say it's bad, but it's just I've not seen anyone try to get everything out in one campaign. Um, uh, so I do think it's possible. I do think that there's potential for that. Um, if you look at, this is how I think it's going to go. I think it'll go and, and hit its goal. I don't think that's too far off, you know, from 12,000 or from $1,200 to get to 3000. When I get to there, maybe go a little above that. It'll go in demand. It has a long time from now till when it actually is released. So what they could do is, you know, work towards getting it completely uh, funded to that amount, you know, that high $20,000 amount, uh, and potentially get everything, uh, everything finished at twenty four grand. So hopefully they do. Hopefully all of that works out. In any case, we just went through the whole campaign. I hope you guys are interested in this book and uh, are looking to put some money towards it. We can help out a uh, creator in need and uh, see a really cool story by the end of everything. So definitely check this one out if you're interested. Uh, please like, share, and comment. If, uh, if uh, you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, or as the cool kids say, uh, s smash it. God, I feel like the one of the black eyed peas, uh, smash. Uh, yeah, please hit the subscribe button. Help me reach that 1000 subscriber milestone. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great rest.